Now let's take a look at how the potentiometer demo lab view project is put together. I have my potentiometer wired as a rotation sensor back here with the middle terminal connected to analog input zero on the B connector. I'm running the VI at the moment and I'll twist the potentiometer knob a little bit. Right now I'm rotating it in the counter, whoop, now clockwise direction. More clockwise, fully clockwise, get five volts approximately. Bring that back down, rotating in the counterclockwise direction, bring that all the way back to zero volts. And I'll leave it at kind of an intermediate position there. Hit stop. All right, this is based on the analog input Express VI, which is available under the MyRio sub palette. You can pick any of the available analog inputs on any of the different styles of connectors. You could even use the audio input left and right channel if you like. Each time you run the Express VI, you get a single voltage sample, which is then connected back to my front panel display. I always like this particular gauge. I'll show you where to find it. This is under the silver sub palette, and it's the gauge right here. Silver refers to the silver anniversary or 25 year anniversary of LabVIEW, incidentally. I'll also show you how I got the digital display to show up. Now the air cluster from the analog output express VI is ORed together with the stop button. If either one of those conditions becomes true, we break out of the loop, pass through the simple air handler, and execute a reset my Rio. I'm pacing the loop right now at 10 milliseconds per loop time. Now you can change this as needed. If you wanted to use a little bit less CPU resources, you could slow down the loop You'll notice even at 100 milliseconds or 10 hertz polling of the analog input, we still get a very responsive display. Now as this value becomes longer, and I'll do something kind of extreme here, set that to a wait time of one second. Now as I rotate my potentiometer, we see that the needle jumps around in a very discontinuous fashion. Polling at one second is just too long. Now I also point out how you can get the escape key to trigger the stop button. It's under key navigation and you select escape button for the toggle. I'll go ahead and set that back to 10 milliseconds. And now you have a little better idea of how to use the analog input and the potentiometer.